Hey guys, it's Corey Bison over at Bishop's RV in Junction City, Oregon. I'm here to show you this amazing Bighorn Traveler. It's a 32 RS. So right off the bat, you're gonna see a couple things going on right in the front. So you're gonna see it's a full size front cap rig. So that means that the ceiling height is gonna be improved. The fact that we have a slide on the side, I cannot wait to show you this bedroom. So this whole front is gonna be your closet and the ceiling height is gonna be really consistent on the way back to the end of the fifth wheel you will see inside. So right in the front here too, it's worth mentioning that this has the upgraded pin box. So what this is, is this is the Rotaflex. So it's just gonna control a little bit of chucking the feeling of the fifth wheel influencing your truck while you're towing. So the way it works is you gotta, you gotta, it pivots on this thing right here. You got a rubber piece right here. So this rubber piece is gonna squish and it's gonna kind of like control some of that extra movement while safely having it behind your truck. Now right here, we got three storage spots. The bottom one is where your generator would go if you would like to purchase one to have me put it in. This is where your service bay goes for all your jacks and stuff. But the top one, if you come over here and you can peek, you see it. The top one is showing that I can access the very center of this huge storage compartment from the front. If you're wondering what that big metal thing is right in front of it, that is a cable winder. So basically you have this, uh, your shore power, 50 amps would be this one. Um, you can wind up the cable with a motor so you don't have to sit there and do it with your arms. They're kind of heavy, you'll notice. So coming on over here, we got the solid steps right here. If you've never seen this, um, I'm pretty surprised by now. Um, they're awesome. So coming on inside here, oh, I'll point out too, it's worth mentioning, you have an extended handle so, you know, mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, they can grab the handle from the first step. It's pretty common that the handle stops right here. And so when you get to the second step, you can finally get support with your hands. That's weirdly really common. So it's nice to see that they've extended it for safety for maybe some family members you might feel you're worried about safety with coming up. Okay, so this is gonna be your classic floor plan, meaning your kitchen's gonna be right here. Your living room is going to be right here. So starting off in the kitchen area, you have this nice countertop spot right here. This can be for your coffee, for your whatever you want to do. You can even prep right here. Cool thing to note, this is a wireless charger. If you have a newer phone of any brand, you just lay it right here and it just starts charging. You don't have to plug in at all. So that's super cool because you can just leave your phone there while you're cooking and it's always going to be kind of generating some battery power for you. You have some storage right here, and this is your control panel behind a door. People like it behind the door because it hides all those ugly buttons. Uh, that's my wife's preference. So you get your slide outs, you get your lights, you get your awning, things like that is what's going to live in here. This is gen prepped. So it does not have a gen on it, but it is all the work has been done to get the generator installed. And this is your switch to, to kick it on. You would be surprised how many rigs don't even give you a pantry. What is that about? You need a pantry and they have this one right here has a lot of space in it. So you can put tall things to give you reference. This is like my whole arm fingertips to elbow. So give you reference. Now you got your fridge right here. Okay. Moving on into the kitchen area. You got some counter space on either side, but you actually get this window. Another thing that's just not common. It's interesting to me that they don't always do that. Gives you a nice way to feel like you're not trapped in this weird cooking corner. You have this massive microwave right here. A lot of them are way tinier than that. So that's one of the things that comes with it that's gonna give you ease of life. Cabinetry everywhere, okay? So all this storage right here. Entertainment stand, you got this TV, you got a fireplace. Got some drawer space right here. Same on the other side. So this is um, the way they did the TV pushing it closer from the slide out. I can see the whole TV from this spot. Now, if you never thought about that, think about it from now on. Whenever you go into any fifth wheel that's got this floor plan, the TV is usually pushed back so far. The only spot that I can actually see it 
is right here and kind of leaning forward to make out the whole picture. And then all that can't see it. So you only have really three spots where you can watch a movie. So this one does it well. Not all of them do it well. Now you're going to notice and you're going to hate that I pointed it out. <laughs> so that being said, you got storage up here. Notice the color palette. You got this really nice white, but it's paired with this darker, not black dark, but just kind of darker wood. That's going to kind of give you some balance there. Got your seating right here. Got your chairs right here. They look great. You see the saw marks. It's just kind of nice design. Live edge will sort of a mimicked live edge table right here. It's a great color, very strong. It doesn't go anywhere. So coming up right up into this part, you're going to see the bathroom. Now behind the fiberglass shower, you have all those cubbies right there. Those go very deep. That's probably my whole arm. To give you reference, they're this deep behind that shower. So you can load this all up with your stuff that you need. You have a spot to fold towels up or whatever you want here. You have some, some hangers as well if you need to hang something right there. It's working out really well. Now this is not common and I wish every fifth wheel on the market did it. You have this like fully fiberglass molded shower. Like not everyone is doing this. So this is very similar to home. I got new shoes. And then um, you have all these ledges to put your soaps and stuff like that. So this is super effective, super nice. You're never going to get a water leak from just water being around in here, whatever, water damage. Get a mirror inside of your bathroom. Notice that not everyone does that. That's kind of a pattern you're seeing in this rig is that they've done things that not everyone is just automatically doing. Um, things that make sense, things that aren't even hard to do. And they're just like, why wouldn't you have a mirror in your bathroom? Coming into the bedroom, you have a king-sized bed. Okay, you got an AC right here. You also got ducts if you want to point them around um, on the ceiling to kind of get some direction of the AC going for you. You have some lights. You have some light switches on the sides. You have these end tables. There's so many cool things that I'm noticing. You can put your USB charging your chargers in there leave your phone right here this cushion right here is so that when you um you know lay your back against the wall you can read a book and you kind of have that nice soft back so you don't have to get the pillow to do that and all this stuff it just comes with it you notice that it's a little high that's because they expect you to switch the mattress that doesn't mean anything about the mattress um for this brand is bad it means Everything about the mattress for every brand ever in an RV is something you should just replace. <laughs> and the reason is because everybody, and this is kind of an interesting conversation, everybody is very particular on what firmness level or brand of mattress they need for their body. So for a RV manufacturer to just stock a nice expensive mattress that you have to pay for with the price of the RV, and then you might not even like it because it won't work with your body, doesn't make sense. So they just stock a basic mattress to give you something and that way it doesn't cost much. You're not buying this expensive mattress. They're expecting you to throw in one that you're gonna like later down the road. That's why they give you this extra space when it gets taller to standard heights. This'll still be working out and you don't cut it off and lose that feature. So. Things to point out, I actually learned this from my customers, not from, you know, whoever, other salesmen or whatever. Here's your closet right here. You have a rod, you can hang your stuff on, you can put your shoes up here. This does go all the way through to the other door, which I will open. So I can reach all the way back here. Now this other door is set up in closet mode. Okay, so that's super nice. This is kind of walk-in style. The thing I'll mention is you got some washer and dryer hookups right there. So if you want to, I can put those in there for you. So that would fit the stackable, which is the popular one because it's like two separate units, but they stack on top of each other to keep space making sense. So anyways, that's really cool. Now you have this dresser right here. Okay. You notice that the wood finish is kind of shiny, something you can pick up from the light. Um, this is the same finish they did throughout the rig. Um, they did that on your table downstairs. 
and they do that on some of these accents too just because we're next to a window you can probably make it out on the camera a little bit better this is nice i like it phone charger spot just like before this tape is just taping down a device that belongs here for transport this is so you can plug in h um sorry usbs if you want to right here comes with the tv double windows emergency exits so you can with the rigs fire and stuff you can you know jump out to your doom on the top floor so <laughs> i don't know <laughs> if you got to get out you got to get out no matter where you are <laughs> so if you found this video really helpful please like and subscribe my name is corey bystead um, thank you for watching if you need any answers on this rig or any others that i may have um, give me a call i can help you um, i am one of the last fifth wheel specialists still here so I'm very confident I can answer most of your fifth wheel related questions or trailers. So my number is 541-735-1535. See you in the next video.